So we're going to target the teres major. This is normally grouped in with the rotator cuff musculature, but really it's not. It's going to be an attachment point from the lower portion of your scapula to the humerus, and it internally rotates the arm. And we will use our internal rotator, so this is going to be one that we're going to want to target. So the muscle basically attaches at the inferior ridge of the scapula, comes under and attaches into the humerus and it allows your arm to rotate inward and pulls back into extension. So to stretch it, you would put the ball underneath the lat or on top of the lat in between that scap and the arm and you're going to lift the arm up in front of you, horizontal flexion, and you're going to rotate the palm into supination. If you're on the spot, you'll feel it tug on that arm so it'll be harder to lift it. Right? And then you'll feel that nice pressure point where the ball is. It'll relax the arm, let it come back down, and then sink back into the belly of the muscle. We're going to use a lacrosse ball to get the release to occur. So he's going to take that ball, place it underneath the shoulder blade. And it may take you a while to find it, but if you're on the muscle, you'll notice that it's again going to inhibit you from lifting the arm up. Also, if you pull your arm internally and pull it back, you'll feel the muscle bulge so you'll know you're on the right spot. One more time, the weight would be on the back leg, so he's gonna brace on his bright right back leg since we're targeting the right side. The left leg would be floating, and he's going to, again, breathe in as he lifts the arm up. Head is gonna be oriented to the right. He'll start to feel it, kind of pull and tug on the arm, so you'll feel a noticeable restriction in shoulder flexion. That's how you know you're on the muscle. Breathe out and then sink back into the belly. As usual, we would start with the passive release. It takes about 30 seconds or so. Take a nice deep breath, relax it, and then go through the articulation. We normally would go through six to 10 breathing cycles, and that would bring us to the end of Terry's Major.